I'd like to show you two things in this video. I'd like to show you how to work intarsia in garter stitch, and I'd like to show you how to keep your yarns tidy when you are working intarsia. This swatch has eight different colors in it, which means I have eight skeins of yarn attached to the swatch. I am at the beginning of a right side row, and all my colors are currently untangled. So let's bring the needle into position and start knitting. This is garter stitch, which means knit everything on the right side row. So I'll start working across to my first color change, which in this case is going to be right there. Okay, and almost there. Okay, first color change. I bring the new color up from the right and I let the old color fall off to the left. like so. There's just a little cross there and I keep going. In intarsia, right is always right. So I'll do this again and you'll see old color goes to the left, new color comes underneath and to the right. So in intarsia, right is always right, the new color always comes to the right and this is true whether you are on the right side or the wrong side of the work. Also, this is knit all on the right side in stockinette. Stockinette is also knit all on the right side. So the maneuver I'm doing here is the same whether you are on the right side in stockinette or on the right side in garter stitch. the color change is here. So once again the new yarn underneath and to the right, the old yarn off to the left. And I keep going. Now some of you may carry your yarn in your left hand. You knit continental. So you might want to see what this looks like for a continental knitter. So as you can see, I'm not quite as fast at knitting continental. So here's the color change. So once again, the new yarn comes underneath and to the right, and the old yarn drops off to the left, and then I'll put the new yarn in my left hand and keep going. Okay, and I will get to the next color change and do that maneuver one more time so you continental knitters can see it. And let's see, okay, looking at where that color change needs to be. So this is one more, and then the color change again. The new yarn, which is the darker orange, comes from the right. The old yarn drops away to the left, and at this point I'm going to change back to my right-handed knitting because I'm faster at it. Those of you who don't like tangles may have realized that yes, there is a little bit of chaos going on. So what's, what's happening is I'm twisting the yarns together at every color change. And you see in intarsia, people talk about an intarsia twist. It's more of a cross than a twist. It's not a full 360 degrees of twist. It's just a little cross, but without it, your fabric doesn't hold together. So I'm getting a little bit of tangling as I work across on the right side row, but on the wrong side row I will 
untwist all of those tangles. So everything will be good again at the beginning of the right side row. So you, in, in intarsia, you just have to tolerate a little bit of chaos. That it just it comes with the with the territory. And here's my last one. and almost at the end. Now the other thing I want you to notice before I turn the work, you are probably used to garter stitch being a reversible fabric. If you are working intarsia in garter stitch, there is a noticeable right side and wrong side. So on the right side of the work you see how my color changes are very linear. They ver are very crisp and clean and clear. When I turn the work, you will see it's not that case on the wrong side. Okay, now to turn the work, I want to turn the work very carefully. This is like turning back the page of a book to see what was on the previous side. I'm going to get a hold of the left edge of the fabric and I'm going to pick it up and gently turn it to the right. Gently turning everybody over. Okay, so there I got the work turned. Get the needle into position. And as I said, you have to tolerate a little bit of chaos with intarsia. So now it's time to work the wrong side row. And this is garter stitch. So the wrong side row is also knit. Pull it across to my first color change. And this is where I think people get confused when doing garter stitch intarsia. In stockinette stitch intarsia, which is how it's usually done, the yarn is always on the wrong side or private side of the work because the right side rows are knit, and so the yarn's at the back, and then the wrong side rows are purl, which means the yarn stays on this side of the work. In garter stitch, however, you have to take the yarn to the other side of the work in order to knit. So when I get to this color change, not only do I need to swap the sequence of the yarn, as I do for my intarsia twist to hold everything together, but I also need to swap the sides of the fabric. So the pink yarn needs to go to the other side and the red yarn needs to come back this way. So what does that look like? Well remember in intarsia right is always right. So the first thing I do is I put the new yarn to the right. Now the old yarn needs to come back to this private side of the work so I bring it in between the needles. This is almost like moving the yarn into position for purling. And then I'll just let that yarn drop away. The new yarn needs to go to the other side of the work, so back between the needles. Now it's in the position where I can knit and I can keep going. And I'm pulling a little more off. Keep going here. And here's my next color change. Same thing. New yarn to the right, old yarn between the needles, and let it fall off to the left. New yarn to the other side, into position so I can knit. and keep going. And here's another color change. So once again, new yarn to the right, old yarn in between the needles, and then new yarn to the other side in position so you can knit. And if you are a continental knitter, you may want to see what this looks like with the yarn carried in your left hand. So let's see what that looks like. Mm 
Again, I'm not nearly as fast with the left hand. Okay, there's my color change. So once again, new yarn is brighter yellow. New yarn to the right. Old yarn in between the needles, dropping it off to the left. And then new yarn to the other side into position so I can knit. And I'll do that one more time so that the continental knitters can see what this looks like. Almost there. And okay, so once again, new yarn to the right. Right is always right. Old yarn in between the needles. New yarn into position so you can knit. And keep going. And I think that's a reminder that I should move the yarn back to my right hand where I am more proficient. And once again, those of you who don't like chaos are probably thinking, I don't know about those yarns. So I tangled the yarns, they got twisted on the right side row, and believe it or not, they are getting untwisted on the wrong side row. And so you, you just kind of have to tolerate the chaos and trust that if you're doing this carefully and correctly, that it's all going to be good in just a moment when we turn the work. And I'm going to the last color. So almost at the end. And then I will turn the work. And when I turn the work, okay, there I am at the end, let the needle drop. When I turn the work, I'm going to turn it like you're turning the page of a book. So the right hand edge over here, I pick it up and I flip it over. And if I did this correctly, if I did this correctly, all the yarns are untangled, which they should be, and they, they are. You can see these are untangled. Now, this only works because I did not change the sequence of color. It was the same sequence, purple, blue, green, so on, all the way across. Let's say I had decided here to run this lighter orange up this way and the yellow over here, so I had swapped the order. If I had done that, even if I worked this perfectly, when I turned the work, these two colors would still be twisted. So then I would have needed to manually move the skeins around to get rid of the twist. If you are working a complicated picture in Tarja where colors move around, yes, the yarns are still going to be tangled even at the right side of the work. There just isn't a lot you can do about that. But if you're working in color blocks the way I am here, you can have a lot of colors going and everybody is untangled at the beginning of the right side rows. So there you are. That was how to manage your yarns and how to work in Tarja in garter stitch.